It's Yang Wei Ting from Taipei, Chinese Taipei. Should be no trouble here for uh, William Belos, and he's got the best personal best by some margin. There is the lineup then for the second semi final. Representatives of Australia, Canada, France, Japan, Brazil, Chinese Taipei, Kazakhstan, and New Zealand. So then, this is uh, Jacob McCory from Australia. Set a personal best in the New South Wales Championships in Sydney back in March of 1382. Next to him, Canada is uh, Shane Moffo. Another man to have broken his personal best in 2019. But here is the main man. William Belosian, the uh, European bronze medalist from 2016. Japan's Shinsuke Izumiya, world junior championship bronze medalist last year for the 19-year-old. Paulo Silva of Brazil. Then Yang Wei Ting. His, uh, he was the semi-finals two years ago on home soil. David Afremov. Asian Games and World Junior experience for the man from Kazakhstan. And on the outside, Joshua Hawkins, World Youth Championship silver medalist, all the way back in 2011 now for the 25-year-old in what will be his last university games. Didn't get out of the heats last time around, so uh, he has already moved forward. So then McCory in one, Moffo two, Pelosian in three, Izumiya four, Silver five, Yang in six, Yefremov in seven, and Hawkins in lane eight. Set. It's a clean start and a great start too by the Japanese Izumiya in the red of Japan. He still leads at the moment and Belosin has some work to do. Here comes the Frenchman though, that smooth style not quite making it back on the Japanese who's going to not take it. Oh, and there was a fall there for Shane Moffo, the Canadian, right by the line. He looked like he was coming through as well to challenge for that top three places. And to his credit, he gets up and uh, does cross the line. Well, the Japanese, I don't know whether the Japanese was a little bit confused as well by the fact that uh, these 110 meter hurdles, of course, start in the normal 100 meter position. And it means that they have to go 10 meters past the usual finish line. That was a curious finish to that race. Japanese hurling beautifully at this stage, Izumiya. Belosian gradually pulling him back, and you can see there he comes out of his lane. He might be all right with that. It's not on a bend. He didn't interfere with the Frenchman outside him. In fact, he helped the Frenchman to take that win, which will certainly help him with the lane draw in the final. Both lead legs off the left leg, and there it was. Almost as if he was confused as he saw the... Uh, the finish line for the 100 metres come into view. Frenchman hurdling beautifully beside him. Now let's see what happens to the Canadian. Last hurdle, oh, he just, the lead leg just goes almost underneath it. Ouch. That is not nice. Japanese was lucky he finished, actually. <laughs> Nevertheless, he does finish, he does qualify. And Paulo Silva of Brazil managed to come through in the end for that. And it means now we'll see the ball Yang Wei Ting gets fourth place in 13.84, which puts him through to the final. Joshua Hawkins in 13.92 will not be good enough. So it means that Shooks goes through from the first heat, but Andrews of Australia doesn't.
Well, the uh, Canadian, Shane Moffo, not surprisingly, has a bit of a headache. I would imagine quite a few bits of him are hurting at the moment after that fall. That was spectacular. Confirmation then of Belosian winning in 13.47 seconds, a tenth and a bit ahead of Shinsuke Izumiya, who should have won that really, but then messed up the last hurdle. Paolo Silva coming through for third. Yang also.